Hey everybody, this is uh, Jeff Easley. He is a multi-talented artist that uh, started uh, doing fantasy art uh, for TSR. Uh, about when did you start doing uh, fantasy art for them? Uh, 1982. 1982, okay. Um, did you do uh, any of the cover art, or uh, how about you tell us uh, some of the pictures that you've done, or, or some of the gaming booklets and whatnot that you've done? Um, early on, I did I uh, redid covers for a lot of the hardback books, like the Player's Handbook and DM Guide. And oh my God, those Monster are icons! Manual, Monster Manual Two and a lot of that stuff. That's awesome. Did you do any of the internal sketches on the Monster Manuals? Um, eventually, I think I did. Ah, okay. Over the course of several editions, I'm sure I did some interiors for them also. Sure, but mostly you do like the cover art and whatnot, correct? Pretty much. Well, cover art and interiors too. So. And interiors? Have you ever done, uh, There, I see now with a lot of the, the modern books now, they're doing a lot of stuff in the margin. Have you ever done any margin art for any of the books? Uh, I've done some marginal art. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that ambiguous then. <laughs> but that's cool. Uh, well, during the course of you know working, I was on staff for 20 years there. 20 years. Yes, through Wizard of the Coast, and through that time I did maps and point of purchase display art. And really? Magazine ads, whatever came along. And whatever did you do a lot for Dragon Magazine? I did several covers, and all those were usually kind of freelance jobs, so oh. I didn't do a lot of them uh, on staff, you know, but uh, I did do some that ended up on Dragon or, or one way or the other. Cool, cool. Were there any, uh, I know there are other uh, gaming magazines out there. Did you do any work for any of the other magazines out there? Um, I really couldn't do anything like that while I was on staff at TSR. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But, uh, mm -hmm. Mad, any, any, unless they gave me permission to do that sort of thing. So. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, I noticed that uh, card games have gotten really, really huge, and I've I've seen a lot of the artwork. Is that artwork done on a large scale, and then they shrink it down for the cards? Uh, or do they actually work in that size? Uh, well, they're de definitely larger than the card size, which is like, like two inches square or whatever. Yeah, they're tiny, right. Yeah, I think uh, the standard is like about 9 by 12. 9 by 12? I just, okay. I just did a World you know, of Warcraft card, and I think they wanted this, the art standard was like 9, nine 5 by 12 inches, I think is what they wanted the artwork. So. Have you ever done any card artwork? Sure. Oh, really? What, uh, what what game systems? Well, I did uh, a handful of Magic cards over the years. Oh, that's cool. I was technically on staff with Wizards of the Coast, you know, toward the end there. So I did some on staff and then did, did some freelance, you know, after I limited to the art department. Awesome. And I've since done, like I said, I just uh, finished a World of Warcraft card. And, nice. Uh, you have no idea how many artists out there are just dripping saliva hearing you say that. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go away from that disturbing thought. Um, now, you do some other stuff also. Um, tell me about that. Uh, well, now being a freelancer is pretty much whatever comes along, and I'll take a crack at it. You know, it's, as I mentioned before, right now I'm doing some uh, hand painted guitars for PRS guitars. Oh, that's cool. Uh, for some years I was designing an inlay, but they, they would do a special edition inlay guitar, and I would. I was designing the uh, inlay, which they would have done by another person. Cool. But, uh, this year they decided that they would have me do a uh, limited edition of 15 hand painted guitars, so I'm doing. Oh, wow! You know, I, they send the body out, and uh, do the painting, I'll send it back to the spare coat, and finishing out. And all that sort of it's uh, pretty neat. I mean. That is cool. Now, is that fantasy artwork that you're doing, or just whatever they ask for? Like, if they want a skull in flames, you'll do that, or is it a lot of dragons, uh, uh, well, that kind of thing? They're, they're dragon guitars, so they. they oh, cool! Dragon. There is an inlaid dragon on the neck still, so. Nice. Uh, but, you know, the, 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 the revolves on a dragon, you know, I, 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 I,
skeletons on a dragon or you know, mm-hmm. dragons, you know, line of dragons or it makes my head swim how many tattoos have been made probably inspired by you. Do you know of uh, any of your works of art that people have converted and done as uh, tattoos? Oh sure, I've seen, I've got emails every now and then of people you know, showing me what they've done. Okay, That's so cool. Have, uh, you know, a tattoo magazine that will have, you know, obviously the people have gotten a hold of the old TSR art books, you know. Sure, sure. My stuff and Larry and Clive and everybody else, you know, it's pretty common to see stuff like that. That's awesome, yeah. I've got two two guys that I know that are uh, tattoo artists. Uh, one's named uh, Dale and uh, the other one's Tim McCollin. Um, how many people have come up and said you were the inspiration for them to get into art and actually pursue it as a career? Uh, every now and then somebody will pop up and kind of you know, give me a recognition, which is very, very that, Yeah, that's got to just make you feel good inside. Uh, the, the, as a little thing, I started off as a uh, sketch artist myself. And uh, I knew I was doing good if I handed a drawing to one of my friends and they made noises like guns going off or, you know. And when we got older, they wouldn't make noises anymore. So I kind of switched, switched my forte. I kind of wish I would have followed it. Obviously, I wouldn't have done as well as you, I'm sure. But it's just really cool seeing people continue on in that vein and, and uh, reach the heights that, that you've reached. Um, what would you say, I don't know, what was the most gratifying thing you've, you've, that's happened to you as an artist? Wow. That you look back on with your most pride? Hmm. I probably have to think about that one a while. <laughs> the the lanyards came in uh, I guess just being able to you know, make a living at it for a good while. I was. That is hard to do. Let me tell you, that's impressive. The percentages are against you. Know, that, so. Right, absolutely. Hang in there this long and make a living doing what I enjoy doing. But as much as I can hope to. Now, what, would, what advice would you give to artists out there right now? Well, I would say, I kind of hate to say it, but I think you know, it's, it's the digital age, you know, so that's... Uh, uh, to work at full function, you know, you really, really have to be pretty adept at the you know, digital media. It is amazing what people are able to do now with some of those programs out there. Have, have you uh, done any, any of that yourself? I tinker with it, but I, I just can't kind of get the same, uh, same effects as that I can with a brush, you know, so. Ah. I use the program. I just have Photoshop, you know, so a lot of people I know use Painter or other programs, and so they seem to be able to get more of a painterly effect, you know, the work that they do. I mean, a lot of people want to, it's pretty much indistinguishable from the you know, digital to you know, traditional medium, so. Sure, sure. What, uh, what type of paint do you use? Do you use oils, acrylics? Uh, what do you prefer? Uh, oil. Oh really? They're yeah. It's pretty slick what you can do with those. Yeah. The blending aspect. Well, oddly enough, these guitars that I'm doing, I've had to switch to alkyd paints just because of the process they have to go for the clear coating. I couldn't use oil, so it's kind of oh. a bit of a learning curve because it's, it's different than painting with oil. So yeah. I have to struggle a little bit with the medium. So. Right. They have different textures, different. You know, the, the, the body of the paint and the drying time and so forth. Well, I've learned that because, like, uh, I paint figures from time to time, and, and let me tell you, uh, if you're a dry brusher and you're working with runny paint, you're gonna have a hard time. So I I I, I fight with that constantly. <laughs> Something above toothpaste, but not too much more is what I prefer. <laughs> Speaking of that, have you done any uh, figure painting? Uh, yeah, yeah. I never have. You're, that's so amazing to me, because you've pro- probably your artwork, the stuff that you've seen in your mind, has turned into miniatures. You know what I mean? So it's kind of interesting that you've never uh, explored that other, 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 uh, other world there. I think it'd be really hard. I do too. I do too. It's a different skill set. You know what I mean? Because one's very two-dimensional, one's very three-dimensional. They they require 
different different skill sets to work with. Well, occasionally I've done sculptures, you know, really? larger size sculptures, and I have difficulty painting them because my inclination is to overmodel them. You know, because you know, when I do a two-dimensional painting, it's all modeling, you know, with light and dark mm -hmm. and so forth. And you don't have to do so much of that on a three-dimensional figure. So I tend to overmodel, you know. Oh, it is. It's very easy to go too far. Very, very nice. Um, is there uh, is there anything you'd like to share with uh, with the community out there? Right. Yeah. They're going to be caught off guard again, but uh, I ask some tough ones, don't I? <laughs> well, tell you what. Uh, I've never done this before. And uh, I'll steal the end for you. Um, I want to thank you on behalf of, of all of my subscribers in advance, as well as the world of gamers out there, and just thank you for doing what you do for us. We really, really appreciate it. I will continue to do my best. Outstanding. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.